Hey, welcome to Strickland's and Friends. Today we're making macaroni and cheese. I already have pasta boiling over here. And in a minute, when the timer goes off, I'm going to add some broccoli to the last minute or so of it cooking. Anyway, okay, so let's work on starting the sauce before the pasta gets done. So we have butternut squash mac and cheese. So we're taking a heaping cup of cubed butternut squash, which this is raw. I already steamed a, the same amount um, just a few minutes ago. So I'm gonna add it to the blender. And then I'm also adding in a third of a cup of cashews. These are raw cashews that have been, you could soak them for several hours, you could boil them for like 10 minutes and then drain them, same thing. So, and then we have one and a half cups of non-dairy milk to that. Okay, so we have two tablespoons of arrowroot powder. So that's two tablespoons. And then one teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of sea salt, iodized sea salt. You don't have to use salt if you're on a low sodium diet. You can leave that out. And we have a third of a cup of nutritional yeast. Okay, and then we have a half of a tablespoon of lemon juice, which is like not quite a half of a lemon, but half of a lemon, go with that. And two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. All right, two tablespoons. We're adding the broccoli into the pasta as it's cooking, and then give that a stir. And we're just gonna go for one minute on that. There we go. And then that's good, and just let it cook. And then while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and whirl up the cheese sauce, okay? There we go. All right, so we're draining this. And then while that sits in the sink draining over there, we're gonna add this into the pot and let it cook a little bit to thicken up. Is it getting thicker? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, so we can add the, we'll go ahead and add the drained pasta and broccoli back into it. Definitely want to get all that water out so it doesn't thin your sauce out too much. How does that look? Well, it's coated for sure. Ooh, yum, yum. So enjoy your mac and cheese.